Scotland. I think he's a department store Santa Claus. Mr. Lewis. I think Mr. Howard is a college professor. Miss Francis. I think he's a happy second car salesman. Second-hand car salesman. <laughs> uh, Mr. Stern. Mr. Howard has a fiendish gleam in his eye. I think yes. he's a dentist. Well, <laughs> some interesting answers, but nobody had the right one, so we'll let our viewers at home have a further look at Mr. Charles Howard, and at the same time, we'll tell them what his line is. All right. Remember the all-in-place panel? Yes, sir. Good. Will you come in, mystery celebrity, and sign in, please? All right, panel, as you know, in the case of our mystery celebrity, we always get right down to the general questioning, which we will begin with uh, Bennett Cerf. Well, whistles from the audience usually connote a show personality. Would you describe yourself as somebody from show business? Well, I do declare that's your right, sir. Yes, sir <laughs> Uh... Of the male persuasion, I take it. Yes, sir. Very persuasive. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, would you uh, say that you had ever uh, shown in motion pictures? Well, I made a few pictures in Hollywood, California. Sure, sure. Uh, there's an echo here tonight. Uh, yeah, I'm a... yeah. <laughs> Don't look so stunned now. Either there's an echo or there are two mystery guests tonight. Is it possible that we have two mystery guests tonight? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> One down and nine to go, Miss Gilgallon. Well, what does that mean? That means that there are not two mystery guests here tonight. The gentleman has only one head. <laughs> <laughs> and all of that right. is coming out of it. Uh, have you ever appeared in um, a vaudeville or presentation house? I beg your pardon? Well, have you ever appeared live as well as in motion pictures? Yes, I certainly did. <laughs> yeah. I get more than one voice, too. Are there more than two of you? Are there more than two? Yeah. Golly, day, I knew Dorothy was going to ask that question. Will you answer it? No, lady. <laughs> two down and eight to go, Mr. Lewis. Let's establish something. You are you alone, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's the strangest accent I have ever encountered. Uh, you are in the motion picture. Are you American? Well, I wasn't exactly born in the U.S., but I certainly picked up a strange accent, you must admit. You were not, you were not born in the States? No, sir. You are a, uh, then, uh, a European film star working, I imagine, in the States. I'd say that, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, is your, uh, place of birth in Europe? That's right. That's right. Boy, that's a beautiful job of an American accent. Oh, are you, uh, are you possibly French? Well, French. you've got a point there, sir. Like <laughs> certainly have. A few little things give you away. Are you, uh, John, is this gentleman someone that the Bobby Soxers might be very excited about? Yes, sir. Are you married to one of, to a beautiful American motion picture actress? Well, you made a mistake there, sir. No, sir. Three down and seven to go, Miss Arlene Francis. Well, now, as long as you're French, don't you want to talk in your own accent for a moment? Don't answer that question. I'd get a no. <laughs> uh, now, let me see. You've appeared in the theater, have you? Yeah, I did. Sure, sure. Have you played in motion pictures for some time? Yeah. Would you be considered a tall, handsome leading man? I will answer that in the affirmative. Well, I know you are, John. I want to know about him. <laughs> <laughs> you get your uh, yes. <laughs> you, uh, uh, have you been in a play on Broadway in the last two years? Yeah, I'd say that, sure. A Frenchman in a play, has it been, was it a legitimate play? Yeah, it was. Was it a serious play? Rather, yeah. 
Was it a play uh, that was adapted by, from a story of André Gide's called The Amoralist? Yes, it was. Well, I never believed you could do that kind of an accent. Louis Jordan. That's right. Say wow. that Mr. Jordan sounded like Abbott and Costello. <laughs> <laughs> the R gave you away just a little bit yeah, in spots. Afraid. Just, no, just when spots. When you said Hollywood. Hollywood. Right. Hollywood. Oh, yeah. 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 Hollywood will always give you away, Monsieur Jordan. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you were wonderful in the Amaralis. And I think you should come he back to the He was also great in Three Coins of Fountain. Yes. And I, know where, I know where you got that accent, Mr. Jordan. Playing croquet with Daryl Zanuck. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, sir, I must uh, say thank you for everybody. I, you were just delightful as a guest, and I think we... Uh, have given the panel something to think very seriously about. They won't count on any accents anymore at any oh, time. No. Thanks very Thank much. You. Would you say hello to the panel?